All right, so I'm gonna go around and collect more chests in Summertide Scales and Tales event at the Broken Sea location. So take this with me as I go up this ladder because when I flew across, I think I saw some things that could be broken. Yep, over here. Oh, there was a thing already here. Grab the treasure chest. I wonder Actually, if this let's get rid of the marker because that's gonna bug me if not. Some kind of trick. Okay. Well, okay, let's go up. <laughs> okay, that's not grabbing the. <laughs> there we go. Can I talk to this dude? I cannot. Okay. This will go into my magic. Oh, I had to match someone across. That's why I didn't go. Oopsies. Oh, come on. Oh, wait. Oh, there's enemies here. Owie. Order guide you. Gather. Sacred name. Fortune preserver, go. Surprise! Over here! Guess this will go into my magic pocket. I finished that one and didn't realize it. Is this because it's not the right color block? Yeah. Just to say. Attention, all staff, please ensure that goods are arranged in an orderly manner. An 
The only thing I can think of is that the color of the block is different. I don't see another block near here. Oh, wait. There we go. There. Guess this will go into my magic pocket. <sighs> All right, time for this. I think it's the last thing over here. Yeah, those are eggs up there or whatever. So let's go ahead and do this. And now I'll make it all disappear. <laughs> Just kidding. I can go over here now. Look at that in a sec. And now I'll make it all disappear. <laughs> Just kidding. in there. <laughs> this is also a continuation of that lighthouse quest that I accidentally unlocked. <laughs> Shugain, why are you still angry? Ha, huh. perhaps you really shouldn't have ventured outside. Er, uh, hello there. Did you plant this tree? We'd like to, uh... We'd like to hang a lamp on this tree. A lamp? Well, putting one up would be nice. Some warm light might do Shugain's... Shugain's mood some good. Might even put us on speaking terms again. Please do lend us a hand, and if I may lend you one in turn... Just say the word and it shall be done. Shall be so. Nice. Smooth sailing so far, eh, traveler? Come on, let's get this lamp hung up. Hmm. 
That should do it. The light should shine far and wide now. Er, okay, so what do we do now? We wait, of course. Maybe those venturers have seen the light already and are on the way back as we speak. Huh? Nothing's happened. Not a person has returned. Hello, you two. Not to disturb you or anything, but what are you intending to do by hanging that light up there? Up, that light up again. Well, long story short, explanations. I see. I've heard about the issue with Esnor and the lighthouse as well, and this idea is a good one. However, perhaps we could hang it up still higher. Well, it's not that like, we can literally hang it up in the sky, can we? Hang the lamp up in the sky? That could perhaps be possible. So, is there such a place to hang the lamp? Please, let me finish. This idea of mine may not actually work. The Whispering Island is not far from here. If a gift is offered onto the goddess on that island, she will grant the supplicant their wish. Whoa, that's some island. Righto. So let's take this lamp over there, over to that whispering island, and see what the deal is. That said, I do not know if that goddess will hear our wish, still hear our wishes. I've been to that island off to offer gifts, but my wishes were not granted. Perhaps something's gone wrong somewhere. Eh? What did you wish for? My wish was a simple one: to be friends with Chigvang forever. We used to live here together, taking care of this tree, drinking tea, and chatting. He once set off on a journey, and when he returned, he was almost unrecognizable. Not that it should matter. We were still friends, I thought. We'd understand one another. But he grew stranger and stranger, his days filled with odd mumblings and melancholy. He even rejected all my tea party invitations. I feared that he might no longer want to be my friend, so I made plans to go to the Whispering Island and make a wish to the goddess. The oldest legend in our village says that originally the goddess greatly favored the brave, so long as a valiant person were to bring her a gift as proof of their courage, she would respond to them. But I feared that she would not bestow her favor upon me, so I brought a dragon scale with me. Do you know about the giant dragon that suddenly emerged from the titanium mines? It fly on a great number a great many homes and even smashed that mountain. Now our ventures can no longer repair their boats or make tools there and have had to change from, from whence they embark on their ventures. The mountain is just over there, but nowadays he's as broken as the broken sea itself. We constantly tried to chase the dragon away and defend our village. Whenever it flew above our village, we would grab chairs, tables, forks, and spoons with, with which to chase it away. Seems as if you succeeded thus far. Well, whatever the case may be, at least that dragon hasn't come back to set fire to the village or roll over or anything like that. Many dragons no evil dragon. He just wants to be friends with everyone. Is that so? In that case, his way of showing it is most unexpected. Well, we can't understand what he was saying at the time anyway, so all we could do was chase him off. When he left, he left behind a scale. I believe that it could prove my courage, and my neighbors thought so too. And when I placed the scale before the statue of the goddess, it began to glow with an awesome light. I thought that this meant the goddess acknowledged my wish and was about to grant it. But Sheffin did not change. He still refused to come out of that pot, and he remains as upset as ever. He even advised me to become a venturer and go on a long journey with him. No way am I doing that. Wait come out of what pot now? It almost sounds like he's some sort of potted flower. That's right, Shivin is presently in presently a flower in a pot. I mean, that's pretty alright, isn't it? He can live next to the tree and I can take care of him, water him, drink tea, and sing for him. But he always says that no matter where he goes, he must be sure of his place, something he learned from his venturing, and that pot is his place. Coax and cajole as I might, I can't get him out of that pot. The goddess didn't make my wish come true, and I don't know what the matter is. Ah, sorry for going on like that. Must have been, must have taken up quite a bit of your time there. 
The Whispering Isle is that way. Perhaps the goddess will be more willing to hear your wish. I thought we were talking about one of these little toy guy things, but we're talking about a plant. Oh boy. So I just got that one thing left. Solidified. Yep. How do I stop that thing? That maybe there'd be another way into that area, but I guess not. I'm gonna laugh if this is what gets me in there. Doesn't look like there's another way into it. Is that the plant he's talking about? That might actually be the plant he's talking about. After you have obtained a certain number of excerpts of bliss, you can unlock the joyous letter gadget. Letter can search for all the excerpts in Simulanka. Use it well to more easily obtain every excerpt. 
All right. So is that the one I've already got equipped, or is, you know, it looks like it's a new one? It overrode the other one. My dear sister Lynette is doing right now. <laughs> Missing me to death, I'm sure. Oh, there's a whole bunch I'm still missing over here, and one here. Let's go back here real quick and find it. Oh, here we go. I wonder if this chest is... Let's go grab that treasure chest. Guess this will go into my magic pocket. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to end this segment of exploration and collection for the Summertide Scales and Tales event. And I'll see you guys later.